guys, it's Hypey here today with the very first 1.7 snapshot 13W36A, so let's get started. The first thing that I wanted to show you was that if you take an item and rename it in an anvil and place it into a um, item frame, you will be able to see the name above. So let's call this Nicolas Cage and we'll put it in the item frame. Uh, there we go. So that's that. Also, if you punch it, you can now remove the item without destroying the frame. And yeah, so moving on to flowers now. So we're already familiar with the dandelion, which gives us two yellow dye. Roses have been replaced with poppies, which still gives us two red dye. And also, if you try and kill an iron golem, then you can also receive a poppy from its drop instead of a rose. Next is the blue orchid, which gives you one light blue dye, and the allium, which gives you one magenta dye, the azure blue a, which gives you one light grey, red, orange, white, and pink tulips, which gives you the corresponding dye, and finally for the potted plants, the oxide daisy, which gives you one light grey. Next is the sunflower plant, which will always face east, and that's where the sun rises and it will give you two yellow dye. Next is the lilac bush, which gives you two magenta dye, and the rose bush, which replaces the singular rose, and it will give you two rose red. Next is the peony, and it will give you two pink dye. Moving on to the large fern and double tall grass, um, you can actually use bone meal on the smaller counterparts, in order to make them double ferns but you can't pick them up with shears or give you um, just two large grass pack. Also, <laughs> hiding in the double tall grass actually will mask you from creepers and they can't actually see you unless you jump out like I'm doing <laughs> Also, another update to do with creepers, if you use a flint and steel on them now, they will explode! Sugarcane has also been updated and will now change colour depending on what biome it's in. And now instead of trawling through mine shafts, you can actually find melons spawning in the jungle wild and free. Next is the brand new block Podzol, which can only be found in redwood forest biomes. And regardless of the light level, you can place mushrooms down on, on them and grow them, uh, whereas on normal grass, you can't. So let's Let's grow this mushroom and show you. Ta-da! Speaking of new blocks, there's also a brand new ice block which is opaque and not transparent. And when you break it, it will not drop any water. And yeah, you can find them in the ice spikes biome. Onwards! The brand new fishes! So basically now we actually have the normal default fishes. and salmon which you can actually cook uh, so there's raw salmon and cooked salmon clown fishes and puffer fishes now puffer fishes are nasty things but you can actually brew them with an awkward potion to make water breathing potions if you guys are ever hungry then eating a clown fish will restore one hunger drumstick and if you want to eat a puffer fish well this is what happens <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the nausea. It's going to poison you, it's going to give you nausea and uh, increase your hunger. Oh god. Oh, I need a drink of milk. So to go along with these brand new fishes is the brand new fishing mechanic and also the chance to fish up these new enchantment books which is luck of the sea and lure which will increase your fishing bonuses. You can also fish up enchanted bows. Uh, not bows, sorry, <laughs> fishing rods. I'm just going to grab my trusty Bruce Willis and show you exactly how to catch a fish now. So as you can see, there's little particles bobbing up and down in the water. And as a fish actually approaches, you'll see sort of like a swirl of bubbles head towards the bobber and yank it down. So let's see if I can actually catch a fish. Here we go. Come on. Gosh, the anticipation's killing me. <laughs> so here we go. Come on, fishy. Bite. Oh, here we go. There we go. Can you see the swell? And gotcha. 
Next, there's a new way of cloning your written books by placing your written book into the crafting table and then putting a book and quill next to it and you should get two of the same book. And you can actually do the same thing with an empty map and a map. So there we go. So guys, this is still the snapshot and I actually have player heads in vanilla. Yes, you can now spawn in players' skulls. So this one's Dale's skull and this is the command that you need to type. And then voila, you get Dale's head. Next is John's head, which is the same, but it's just different from his name. And Mal's head. And I'll leave a a uh, link in the description to the command for this and I'm just going to pop on Mal's head and, and wear him for a bit. <laughs> so leading back to more commandy stuff you can actually use this command here that I'm showing you to type in lore. You know how in adventure maps uh, you'd have um, certain items which actually has a little description underneath. We can actually do that in Minecraft um, vanilla now which is actually quite cool. So and I'll leave a, a, a link in the description to this command and if I press this it's got a knockback and it's a, a potato uh, you find a strange force from this potato and it's got a lovely knockback so die chicken I'm gonna go find a pig you you <laughs> another command is the slash sun command which allow you to spawn in mobs that don't generally appear in vanilla Minecraft as well. Um, so this is the command, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And I've spawned a giant and a wither, but we won't, we won't bother him. Let's just uh, attack this guy. Another new feature is that there are now three more types of uh, stone brick spawn eggs. There's the mossy, the chiseled and the cracked. So if I just go into this little pen of silverfish, I can show you how they attack now. So they, as you can see, they attack in a straight line, uh, which is actually quite terrifying because they are hurting a lot. Uh, okay, let's cut them. There we go. We've almost got them. Yeah, who's the boss now? <laughs> so now I'm going to show you the brand new volume sliders option. Uh, so if you go into music and sounds you can actually turn off certain sounds so let's turn the weather down because it's it's noisy uh, blocks and environment here friendly animals off and there we go lovely isn't it mr. chicken it's lovely. next to the super secret settings and if you click it you can hear different noises and uh, there's a couple of noises here that are unknown to me so could this be Possibly new mobs, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> and back into the options again for this, where you can actually now order your texture packs now. Um, if there's any missing textures on the top texture pack, if there's a bottom one underneath it, uh, it will fill it out so you can now mix and match resource packs. And that's about it guys, that's all of the main features of this update. If you want to check out the full version list the thingy, the link is in the description below. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!